Here at Connected Britain, I'm with Margot James, the Government Minister, who's just given a keynote address. Minister, thank you very much for speaking to us today. It's a pleasure, Brian. Tell us about some of the main things you... What was your, your main messages to the market today? I think my main message is keep up the good work. We want to see more investment, particularly in full fibre to the premises. Um, the Government will support you every um, step of the way. The Chancellor announced um, a couple of weeks ago in an address to the CBI that he wanted to see more than 50% of premises connected um, full fibre to the premise by 2025 and we want to bring that um, to a reality and that will require really partnership working between companies and with the government and we support industry in this very important uh, issue. It was a very positive message and you're also, I liked what you said about 5G is not just another G. <laughs> yes, that's quite true, isn't it? A lot of people um, think that, oh well, 3G, 4G, 5G just must be a quicker speed. It's, of course, about so much more than that. I mean, it is a quicker speed. It's, it's in another league in terms of speed. But very importantly, it will enable the Internet of Things and it will enable um, revolutions um, of various sectors. At the moment, the government is committing funding to a series of trials and testbed pilots um, in different areas in agriculture, in health, in the cityscape, transport. So there's so much we need to learn about the potential of 5G but we're very excited uh, about it. It's the, probably the single biggest um, uh, benefit towards our productivity that, that uh, we could probably imagine. So it's very important that we get that investment right. Yes, it seemed a very upbeat message you were giving today. Well, it is very exciting. I believe that um, this connectivity is probably the single biggest determinant of improving Britain's uh, productivity and international competitiveness. Conversely, if we don't get it right, we will be overtaken because there's no doubt that countries in the Far East who are not much further on than us at the moment on 5G. They are committed to 5G, they will make it work and they will open up a bigger productivity gap between Asia and Europe um, if we don't keep pace with them. So it's, it is really important and, and therefore very exciting. Okay, well thank you very much for talking thank to us today. Much, Brian.